Hey guys, what's up? It's McNeil from Louisa Automotive. And if you are new to this channel or if you don't like our content, please subscribe. <laughs> uh, and if you, uh, if we hit a thousand subscribers, that way I know you really don't like my content and then I will stop making videos, okay? <laughs> and uh, don't forget to uh, hit the like button. If you don't like it, the thumbs up means you don't like it. So just go ahead and hit the thumbs up uh, every single time you see my video, okay? Uh, and uh, let's get into a little bit of Tesla news. How high will Tesla stock really go? How high will it go? Um, and <laughs> uh, will it finally crack the 400 uh, mark? I mean, the 52 week high was being just what, about 380, uh, just under 380. Um, after the uh, amazing quarter they had, obviously we got 20% uh, jump in the stock on that. And just uh, yesterday, Friday, uh, we also had another 10%, almost 10% uh, hike in the stock again. Now, after the stock market closed, uh, Elon uh, and Tesla, well, they had this conference call that uh, I was listening in on, and um, the soul of business has always been, um, you know, been basically negatively weighing on Tesla for a while, because then it was a bad debt, it was a bad buy. Um, um, but rightfully so, Tesla had to remove some resources from the solar business in order to make Tesla uh, work. You know, they needed the, the, the funds, they needed the manpower, the battery cells, everything they could have uh, put together. They needed all the resources put together in order to make the Model 3 a success. Now that the Model 3 is basically what it is today and we've seen them all over the streets everywhere and they're putting out some great numbers, they can, they can focus a little bit more on the solar business. And uh, that version 3 uh, solar tiles, they look actually pretty good. Uh, just imagine, you know, your house is gonna be powered by those solar tiles. You know, you gotta need a new roof. You just put those solar tiles on and you know, your house can be totally off the grid. Now we're finally gonna see some extra business because of that solar um, panel. Uh, now they're, they're, they're ready to scale it up and uh, you know, it's already ready, available for sale. It's much cheaper than the version two would have cost you. And uh, I, I believe that's uh, that business, that segment, is gonna be just as big as the auto uh, side of things for Tesla. So, you know, when that ramp up to full production, um, it's definitely gonna raise the stock price again. Uh, you know, so now the, the, the negative effect it had on the stock all those years uh, finally lifted because, you know, keep in mind, the price went up mainly because of the great quarter they had, right? But now, on top of that, we're learning that we're gonna be getting um, solar panel production ramp up so that negative weight it had in the stock before should be lifted and quite frankly that that's potential for more revenue for tesla of course the margins are going to be small on that until they you know scale up production significantly but th there is a trickle effect too so people are going to buy solar panels they're going to buy the battery packs uh you know in order to to basically save the energy that they're making so it, it's a great it's it's all around great news um and um What's gonna cause them to scale up pretty quickly too, it's Tesla is willing to partner with roofing companies as well. So they're gonna basically focus in on being a manufacturer of that roofing tile and not trying to have like Tesla techs in other words, or, or Tesla roofers installing those things because it would be more difficult to hire so many roofers to scale this up. So uh, they're just gonna basically be some sort of a roofing tile uh, manufacturer. They're gonna have some of their own Tesla installers, but then gonna be able to partner with some roofers um, and get it done that way. That way it'll be a much uh, quicker um, ramp up of production. Either way, I'm thinking that, uh, that with, with that news, um, we only, what, 50 bucks away? from Tesla's 52-week uh, high. So there's quite a good chance we can uh, hit that 380, I'm hoping anyway. And um, probably even uh, before next quarter, I'm hoping we touch the $400 mark. But you know, that's me. Um, I'm patient. Even if it doesn't happen this quarter, it's gonna happen, it, you know, it, it, the stock is gonna continue to rise. Uh, you know, I'm not telling you what stocks to buy, but I'm, I'm, I'm definitely a Tesla long. And uh, let's, see, let's see what happens. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you're new to this channel, please uh, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps the channel up. And uh, if you basically are uh, enjoying the content, please give a thumbs up. If you're not enjoying the content, still give a thumbs up. <laughs> Help the channel grow, okay? Thanks for watching.